Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to a, another mech review. That's right, another mech review. This one is on this gentleman in front of us right here. The Cicada 3M. Why do you wonder why I picked this guy? Well, first things first, and that's ECM. That's the reason why. That's pretty much it. So, Cicada 3M, which is right, bomb right here. So the cost overall is uh, 2,840 MC. And just over, and I mean literally just over, um, 7 million C bulls at 7,097,444 C bills. So it's not too bad. It's the most expensive out of all of them, mainly because of that um, ECM. Now, in the mech lab here, we're going to bring it up. So, out of the box, it comes with three medium, uh, two medium lasers, one small pulse, one Ultra 5. Uh, one ton of Ultra 5 ammo and Ultra, obviously, uh, case, and an XL320 engine, because, I mean, it's got to be fast, right? The quirks this thing has out of the box, uh, we're going to ignore the usual structure and all that stuff. It's got, uh, the weapons quirks are ballistic velocity is plus 20, so your rounds go 20% faster. Ballistic cooldown, 20, so your wep so your actual, you know, uh, weapon cools down 20% faster. The jam chance is 30%, so your gun actually has a 30% less chance of jamming, which is really good. Um, then you also have energy quirks. So the energy range is plus 10, the energy cooldown is plus 15, and your energy heat gen is minus 5. So you also have the ability to hit 10% further. Um, your weapon cools down 15% faster, and the heat generation dissipates at an additional 5%. Or, sorry, it generates less heat by 5%. So overall, very good quirks. Um, out of the box, as I said, this is weapons. Now, overall, hard points wise, it has two energy in the center torso, one energy in the left, one energy in the right, one ECM in the right. Sorry, one energy. Sorry, one ECM. Sorry, in the left. Sorry, one AMS in the right, and one ballistic in the left. So, this is how it comes out of the box. Notice. It doesn't have ECM out of the box. It's one thing you're going to have to notice. Um, so one thing you will have to take place is ECM does cost 400 grand if you want it and it takes up two slots. So if you want to be able to utilize um, the Guardian ECM on this guy, you have to remember is A, it takes up two slots. B, it's 1.5 tons. And C, it's going to cost you 400 grand to put it on this guy because it has ECM as an option, but it doesn't come with it out of the box. So the one I have out of the box, or the one I have is this. XL300, Ultra 5 still, 2 tons of Ultra 5 ammo, the Guardian ECM, 3 double heat sinks, and 3 medium lasers. Now the reason why I put, oh and I also have double and endo steel. Endo steel is why I think I was able to put this, I can't remember how exactly I did this. But, max speed, 121. What I wanted to do basically at this point is I wanted to, um, advance, like, we wanted to push those quirks. The, the energy quirks and the ballistic quirks, right? We wanted to do both. Um, on top of that, utilize this mech's um, potential. And I say us because it's my unit that got me to kind of get this guy. Um, ECM, nowadays, especially with the level of the Archer coming out and the Mad Dog out there and the, and the Catapult out there and um, a bunch of LRM mechs, the Orion, um, the Orion 80, <laughs> um, LRMs are now becoming more noticeable. Um, you know, they may not be being used as much, but they're just more noticeable. They're more out there. They're more up to your face. Um, you may end up with, instead of, you know, you might just, you're just running into bigger boats, basically. Um, not, not as many, same amount of boats, just, they're just carrying more. That's, that's about it. So, I found that running ECM as of late, is very, very important. Um, but also having that, you know, ability to do other things as well. Just not run ECM to hide everybody. But have some ability to reach out and touch someone. So I found that this is the ultimate hit-and-run mech when it comes to mediums. Well, medium-esque, um, even though it's kind of a light. Um, you can go 121.5. I don't think I have this thing tricked out yet with a speed tweak or anything like that. But yeah, so I really like this mech for hit-and-run and scouting. Um... And also support. With that ECM, you can actually cloak um, on a lance, almost an entire lance, right? It's 90 meters. So what you can actually do with someone else running another light, 
So you run a medium, you have someone running a light, raven, archer, cheetah, whatever, whether you see him as well. You can actually have a lance of three lights, or even four lights, and, this, and a cicada on, for something like Polar Highlands. Run all the way around the outside and the edge of the Polar Highlands map, and actually cause some significant damage. Have that happened a couple times, I've watched it happen, and it's very, very entertaining to watch. But overall, um, it's a 40-ton mech. I think in the eyes, mainly because of the ECM, especially with the utilization of laser or uh, sorry missiles recently with LRMs. Very good idea to get it. But I digress. Um, overall, as a review, I, w I would like to say this mech is very good. Um, as I said, it's a support mech as well. I seem to always tend towards support mechs, not many brawling mechs, but definitely a support mech in regards to the ECM. Um, you can kind of do a one-off. Um, you can also put something... I don't think it, we can go bigger than an Ultra 5. Yeah. Um, actually, that's the only thing you can put on here. I was thinking, sorry, I was thinking of Clan Max. Um, pretty much putting an Ultra 5 on here definitely utilizes the three ballistic quirks. You want to utilize these quirks on this guy. Um, cicadas are... Um, I don't want to say glass cannons, but they can, can kind of get there, ironically enough, especially with the gun here. But... Um, I definitely give this guy a definite 7 out of 10 for its role um, in regards to the ECM support and things like that. Um, you can run in there, hit, and then run out. You can also swap out these medium lasers, for example, for a large laser build. Um, even this, it, it, to be honest with you, even with this Ultra, you can do two large pulse. Uh, put a large pulse on either, either torso, and there you go. You got a large pulse sniper, for example. Lots of, lots of ideas. Um, you can actually do three large pulse. One here, one here, one here. And... Basically, just snipe people from far away with uh, with your ECM. Nice little hit and fade, uh, hit and fade guy with 40 tons. It's very easy to do. Just drop that UAC. Drop these medium lasers. Energy. Large pulse. Large pulse. Oh, actually, I did the math wrong. All right, so you can do two large pulse. Sorry, I was looking. I wasn't thinking of the engine. So yeah, so there you go. You can do two large pulse and just snipe down at people. That's an, another idea, right? Um, you're still, at that same time, utilizing the energy range, energy heat gen, and energy cooldown. So that'll do you know, good indefinite positive things down the run. You can also dump that heat sink. Your heat's 1.62 still. So you can actually, I think you can drop both those two heat sinks, and you're still sitting at 1.5 for heat. So you can throw... A medium pulse there, or even just two medium lasers, center torso, for example, for uh, for up close fighting, and that gives you a ton. So let's throw um, a heat sink back on the engine. So our heat engine is 1.23. We have the large pulse for reaching out and smacking someone. Then we have the two medium lasers up close. There you go. Just a couple ideas. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.